Do you want to do a thank you page redirect with your Cadence Forms? In this video, I'll show you how. Let's jump on in. Okay, so by default with a contact form in Cadence, um, if you fill the form out and click send your message, by default, what it does is just gives you a nice little message at the bottom of the page. You can also hide the form um, and it'll just say submission success, thanks for getting in touch, something along those lines. What I want to do, however, is have a nice thank you page. So here's a thank you page. So instead, I want to show a whole page. I want it to redirect. That's going to help me with a couple of things like tracking and stuff like that. Now, what's important when you go ahead and make a thank you page is that you set it up correctly in terms of bots and stuff like that. You don't want it to be found. So this contact page just has normal contact information upon it. And when it comes to the SEO stuff with search appearance and things like that, we can see here that in the advanced section of Yoast, I use Yoast for doing this, I've said allow search engines to show this content in search results is no. And should search engines follow links on this content, that's also no. Everything else doesn't really matter. I could say no archive if I want to there for meta robots. Doesn't matter that much once I've said I don't want this to be tracked. At that point, I click update. That's all great. The other thing that I also do is make sure that in my page settings here, uh, which is under this one, sorry. Um, I just make sure that the page itself um, is nested underneath where I've generally got the main form that I'm targeting. So in this case, we can see the parent is contact under page attributes. That just means when I'm looking at pages in the future, it's really easy to see all sorts of different pages called thank you. You know, you might end up with 10 of these if you've got 10 different forms. You want to make sure that each one, it's clear which sort of page it relates to. I understand that forms may end up being on multiple pages, but whichever the primary one is, I generally nest it under there. And that helps me make sure that I'm not going to lose the understanding of what thank you page is being used. So now that I've got that thank you page, I then go into cadence and into forms. From there, I'm looking at my contact form here. So I go ahead and open up the editor for the contact form. From there, we look at the form settings and in the submit actions, I want to put redirect in there. The redirect will then create an additional accordion further down the page with the redirect settings. You can see here that I've put my thank you page in there. So that's under contact and thank you, just like that. So I could also, you know, select everything there and just type thank and there's my thank you for contacting us page just like that at that point that's all ready to be updated so that's all looking okay so i click update and now when i go ahead and view the contact page we should see a different result so i'll go ahead and refresh this now and we'll go and fill out this form okay so the form's filled out we're ready to send the message so now when i send the message it processes the same way as it did before. But then once the form has processed, it redirects me to my thank you page. And we can now see there's a thank you page that I created. So that's how you go about doing that with your Cadence forms. I hope you liked that quick tip. If you want more like that, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.